Hello everyone, Z1 from Zap Productions here, and today I'm going to show you a new tutorial on how to make Lego fly on GIMP, because we're going to be using GIMP. So if you don't know what GIMP is, it's this uh, neat little software that it's it's free, uh, GNU uh, based uh, software that it's I guess photo manipulation stuff like that. It's like a if you have Windows, it's like a a paint mixed with, I don't know. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make Lego fly with that software. So, uh, what I usually do personally is that I use uh, Photoshop. But the thing is, is that I know that for Photoshop is expensive and it's an uh, Adobe-based uh, product. So... I'm going to be using, teaching you how to use GIMP, which is free. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. You get it, and it works pretty well. Gets, a do gets the job done. So, I'm going to just check out my two pictures here. So, this is the first picture. Uh, it's Falcon on little uh, Lego bricks. And the second picture we have here is just the black blank background. So this is what you need for any picture if you want to make a simulation of flight. So you need to have both the pictures. Take a picture with Falcon or whatever character you have on on some Lego bricks or clay. You can use whatever you want, and then take it out of the frame and take a picture of just the back. So, once you have that, let's open it up in GIMP. Sorry, it's uh, taking a while. Let me just put some uh, cool music here while we wait Okay, and we're back. So after waiting a while for it to finally open up, uh, I have used the basic uh, GIMP uh, format. The, there's a toolbox on this side, layers and brushes and all sorts of things on this side. So what we want to do is that we want to go to File, Open, and we want to open, go to desktop, or well, I have it on desktop. Try to find whatever picture you have, and then open it up in GIMP. So now that I have the first picture open up in GIMP, we're going to go to File, Open, and open the second picture. Once you have both files into the picture, and once you have both files in GIMP, you want to go to. So let me see here. You want to you want to go here and right click it and go to edit and copy. So now you could you can move this one out of the way. You, once you're on to this one, once you have this one selected, you go to right click, edit, and paste. So now that you have, as you can see, this frame, this frame with Falcon on top of the background, as you can see here, the uh, Falcon picture on top of the background picture. So, once you have that, you want to go to Erase, Tool, 
and you want to just go and erase all the all the the Lego pieces or whatever you have. Uh, what you can do also is you can go to file or view and I'm going to zoom in a bit or you can pl press uh, the add button plus that zooms in so. try to get it as best as you can Okay, I think this is pretty good. I think I've done a pretty good job here. So now let's go to... Uh, I'm going to zoom out. As you can see, uh, there's... I, it looks okay, but it all depends. The, the, the better the picture is, it all depends on how closely related the two pictures are, the background and the foreground. So I'm going to go here and uh, deselect everything. Okay, so uh, once you have that, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Uh, you can go to file and you could save, save it, and then you could call it whatever you want. But if you want to save it as a type of file, because it in GIMP it saves it as a XCF file, which is a GIMP file. So what you want to do is file save as, and then you could choose one, and you could save as one of them. But also a, a better way I think is to export as or overwrite one of the pictures, one of the older pictures that you had. So either way it's better but make sure that it's not in an XCF file or else it wouldn't be able to be used in whatever, you, whatever your projects are. And uh, so, and also one more tip is that when you have the foreground and you have little pieces, Lego pieces or clay, do not put it in front of the character. Have the character always be in front of it. Because if the clay is perhaps like over his foot or something and you can't see that part of the foot, when you're erasing it, you would basically be chopping off his whole leg or something or whatever. And, uh, so, that's pretty much it. I mean, you could, uh, you can, um, test it out and see what your preferences are, and I'm just exporting this real quick. But you could, s you could see what, I mean, what you prefer, and you could test it out, and you could, you know, play around with it, and whoop, there it is. You can see that it's not very well, it's not very well touched right here, but I did it quick. So, anyway, that's how you make a Lego figure fly. And also, one thing, uh, uh, this tutorial, uh, I might make one for those who have, for those of you who have Photoshop, I might make one of Photoshop if you want. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to check the description for the link to getting GIMP. If you do, then start enjoying uh, the pleasures of it, I guess. <laughs> okay, goodbye.